This is Twit. Now, let's check out another guy who has uh, spent uh, ample time in Radio Shack, usually buying solder, George and smoking solder. Well, thank you, Don. And, and if I would have known Dr. Scove wouldn't have been here tonight, I could have done the space weather for you. <laughs> but, oh, well. We missed <laughs> the like opportunity it. on that. She's prettier uh, than you are. Yeah. Well, I'm and prettier she knows than you what are. she's talking about, too. And with me, that's optional. Yes. Well, me too, clearly. Well, what I'm going to talk about tonight is the power supply that Bob has been working on to go with the pine board project. And let me do one thing here. There. There's Bob's power supply. You know, he, he showed us several weeks ago uh, how he was building that. He was using a 6X5 GT dual diode tube there. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about how that schematic works. Um, you know, that tube, if you, if you look there, there are two plates in it. One, two. And there's a cathode right here. Uh, this one is an indirectly heated cathode. That means that the filament is sitting right here, and it's warming up the cathode. Well, if you've never worked with a tube diode before, you, you may not exactly see how that works. Well, I'm going to simplify it for you a little bit. If you were to do this with regular diodes, this is essentially what you've got. Two diodes connected there. On either side of the transformer, you've got a diode, and they just go on out to the filters and on out the output. Now, the reason that we've got two diodes, or he's using a, a dual diode type of tube there, is because, well, let's look at the waveform first. You know, just regular 60-cycle AC, you've got a 60-cycle sine wave going there. We're rectifying that to DC because that's what you need to run your circuits with. If we were to use a single diode to do that with, then we would only get half the voltage and half the current. In other words, only the top half of the peaks. The bottom halves would be missing altogether. Uh, this is right here. You see one plate, cathode, filament, and it goes on out. That's all we would get is just the top halves of those waveforms. The bottom half would just be totally wasted. So if we use a tube that has two diodes in it, then we're getting the top half, and we're also getting the half where it went down. Now, since we've got the diodes, you know, in two different positions there along that waveform, we're actually getting 120 hertz from that instead of just 60 but we've got a more constant duty cycle from our AC signal there. So the way it works, it heats up the cathode. When the cathode gets hot, it starts emitting electrons. Uh, they need somewhere to go. And whenever the plate, either the one on the top or the one on the bottom here, whenever that swings positive, those electrons, you know, uh, opposites attract so those electrons rush toward that plate. When they get there, it's going to cause current to flow. When current flows, that cathode and the plate are going to get at the same potential. In other words, the resistance between those two is going to become very low. It's not zero, but it gets pretty low. So when that happens, that top half of the waveform there is going to come on out and go on to our output. On the opposite half of the cycle, that's going to happen here with the bottom plate. So essentially, it's just sitting here switching back and forth between the two, so we're using both halves of the waveform. So after that, we're going to end up with something that, uh, well, it's going to look kind of like this. If we filter it, though, you can see it's, it's going to be a DC, and we'll only see a little bit of the remaining tips of the waveform there. We generally can't filter it perfectly. You, you could get a lot better, but uh, this is essentially what you've got, uh, 120 hertz there. So what Bob has got here is two pi filters. You can see there's one half right there, 
It's a resistor and two capacitors. If you slide over, there's another pi filter right there. They're sharing the capacitor there in the middle, though. And these 1K resistors are also going to drop the voltage a little bit, so they're, they're kind of serving two purposes. So that's what you got. Um, tube rectifies both halves of the waveform. Then the filter section here smooths it on out, so we've got a smooth DC. And out here on the output, we've got 150 volts DC. So I hope that explains it a little bit. It, it's just a diode, or actually it's two diodes.